welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am so sorry that I am late. I It's been a long time since I've been late to a stream, but it happened. I, <laughs> I was having a lot of fun streaming the Outer Worlds, and I got kind of caught up in my missions there. Like, I didn't forget about you guys, I swear. Okay, so now we are married to Sam. And where is the man? Oh, there he is! Okay, let's check the weather report. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are very happy today. Oh, Sam! I'm gonna visit the family today, okay? I'll be home in the evening. Kiss. Kiss from Sam. Tony, go lay down. Okay, um, I also need to set up a chest inside the house with gifts for him. Bless you, Mimi. Because spouses do still require gifts. Except they actually require more gifts than normal. Oh yeah, this is my absolute favorite. But yeah, you can actually give a spouse a gift daily. And their relationship meter will go down rather fast. Also, this game is very loud for some odd reason. Okay, much better. But yes, so we should be getting the deluxe barn underway today. I think I finally got all the things I needed for it. Also, I really hope that the audio is going okay because, like I said, when I watched yesterday's live stream of the Outer Worlds, I couldn't actually hear myself. So... Hello! Can you actually hear me okay? Or is... Is the game or my voice too loud or too quiet? Because I've, I've been having issues with that. Yeah, I've been trying to fix it, but unless... Like, unless I have somebody there, like, telling me, oh yeah, I can hear... Okay, so the game is a little loud. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this real quick, I'm gonna go into my settings, and I'm gonna boost my mic a little bit. So, I know you probably can't actually hear me right now, but... Oh no, okay, so microphone is broadcasting audio. Okay, so you should be able to hear me. Um, audio devices... Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, is that better? Okay, okay. Yeah, I could not find, like, where exactly I needed the mic volume to be or, like, anything. So I was like, I hope... I hope I can get this figured out, because, like I said, I had thought that it was a PlayStation problem, because when I looked it up... Yeah, I... <laughs> I had been looking it up, and it said that it was PlayStation that had a problem with broadcasting the audio, but I ordered a piece to fix that problem. Only to realize I have a PlayStation Slim, which doesn't have an optical cable port, which was how it could be fixed. It's like, okay, without the optical, yes, I play it on PlayStation. So without the optical cable, I was like, okay, so there's no fix. Well, so I started digging into the issue a little bit more. The issue that everyone else was having was that their game was too loud and their voice was too quiet. Originally, I was having the opposite problem. The, uh, like, you could hear my voice just fine, but the game was so, so quiet. So I was like, okay, well, that's obviously not the same problem. So that's when I was like, okay, well, maybe I just need to adjust the mic. But without anybody, like, watching, telling me, oh, okay, I can hear you better now. Oh, I can't hear you at all right here. I just had to kind of wing it. So I felt so bad because I was rewatching the stream from yesterday and pretty much my voice is non-existent on that stream and I was like, crap. And that was actually an important episode. So now I just feel awful for that. I'm like, I'm so sorry. 
Like, I tried. I tried to fix it. But yeah, I play and broadcast straight from my... <laughs> yeah. My... The sound issues were ridiculous. But hopefully now this has fixed it. And yeah, because I can't get a new... Like, there's no fix that I have found online for it. So I'm like, I don't know what to do if it's not working. But from the sounds of it, it is working. So that should be the end of that. Okay, let's see. I need to sell like, all this stuff. Oh, there was a piece of trash. Dang it. Um, it lagged. Okay, saved. Yeah, that... I did try, I think, once to stream from my computer, and it did bad, bad things. It just... It would not stop lagging, because I can't run Twitch and programs off of my computer at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Just, just straight up trash. It's funny, because I think Joja Cola is actually labeled as trash, too. Yeah, <laughs> Joja Cola is just straight up trash. <laughs> Yeah, the streaming off of a PC, unless you have a very powerful PC, is, like, darn near impossible. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't cope with it. It was just too much of pain. Okay, Pierre, dang it, Pierre, still, okay, so Pierre and Marnie and, like, everybody else. Um... You know, it's a very good luck day. Maybe we should just go to the desert. But yeah, my husband keeps telling me, he's like, why don't you, why don't you go on and, you know, get a gaming laptop and stuff like that. I'm like, do you know how expensive gaming laptops are? Like, like I can't afford to get one of those. Hopefully it's a balancing sc Oh, jeez. Oh, um, yeah, I actually, I, I feel your pain. I actually did school and work. I was actually working full time and going to school for, I think, om I actually think I had enough credits to be considered full time. And that was an absolute nightmare. So best of luck. I completely understand what you're going through. That was not a fun, it was not a fun time. Okay, okay. I was also homeschooled for two years of my life, and I, I guess, yeah, that kind of would make it a little easier, but dang, I still don't envy that. Oh, wait. If I'm going to go see Sandy, I might as well take her a flower. Master my breath of the wild for fun. <laughs> I've actually never played Breath of the Wild before. I have had so many people recommend it to me, I just have never played it. I also hate the random ad comments that they pop up there. Okay, yes, buy a ticket. Also, I really feel like I want to go talk to Jody and see if her dialogue towards me has changed, because I'm now her daughter-in-law. Yes, give me the money. It's seriously just like so weird that it'll randomly pop up. And then I've noticed that YouTube will also have like random profiles. Like they comment links and stuff. And I'm like, I don't, I don't trust that at all. I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. Yep. You wouldn't have much luck farming out here, honey. Nope. I don't have luck farming on my farm. <laughs> um, you don't really have any. I mean, there's a cute shirt, but I don't really need that. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, there, it's just... It, I don't trust any of those, so I actually block them and then, like, report the comment as spam. Because I'm like, I don't want anybody else, like, risking clicking on a link that leads them to, like, a corrupted site or something like that. Is... is that a club card? Why, yes! Whoa! Okay, either he disappeared in a cloud of smoke, or my club card made him explode. <gasps> it's a casino! And there's Mr. Key. Or Chi, however you want to pronounce that. Yeah, the, it, it's so sketchy. Super sketchy. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. Okay, so this... Yeah, he has files on everybody, and it's kind of creepy. Yeah, he has, like, all this information. Like, dirt hoed, items crafted, items cooked, monster slain. Try Typing, trying to figure out what content. I'll have to look into Breath of the Wild, because like I said, I hear a bunch, like, I hear a lot about it, but I've never actually played it. Well, Wick? Ha! Ah! That's the fortune teller. It's not my lucky day. Ugh, I drink too much. Yeah, I'll have to look at it, because I have so many friends who are like, you guys need to play this. Okay, so this is the last scarecrow I think I need. And it's 10,000... whatever the swirly things are. Modern double bed. Interesting. Uh, warp totem. A top hat. Mmm, cool. The Switch version. My husband had a Switch, but we never ended up playing it, so he ended up getting rid of it. He sold it. And sometimes people are like, oh, do you have this? It's on the Switch. I'm like, dang. I'm like, we got rid of this. We got rid of the Switch. 25 Wow. You got a lot going in that game. Yeah, I think the most... I probably have, like, a ton of hours and stuff in certain games, but some games I don't know how to tell. Like, Stardew Valley, it's easy because it shows you exactly how much, like, how many hours you have as soon as you log in. There's something to be said about actually saving up for something, because I feel like you definitely treasure things more than, like, when you have to save up for them. Huh, yeah, see, I wish... I wish that I actually... Whoa. I think on my first... My first farm playthrough, I want to say I have almost 300 hours. I have a lot of hours in Stardew. I know that for a fact. At this point, I have definitely over 300 hours in the game in total. Okay, I don't like these iridium slimes. Oh, they made baby slimes. I am the windmill of pain. Also, I don't know where that comes from. My husband says it sometimes. If you hear me saying random phrases, chances are they're from my husband. I... Uh, every time I get a sticker or like a decal or something, I don't want to put it on anything because I'm like, I always second guess myself. I'm like, well, what happens if I, like, find a better place to put it? Or, you know, I, I just second guess myself. I think it's safe to say, so I played Skyrim. That was the only game I played after I got my PlayStation. And I played that for over a year. Like, that was the only game I played on my PlayStation. So, I probably have, mm, I'm going to say a conservative guess, about 700 hours in Skyrim because I would play almost daily 
And then sometimes on the weekends, I just play for hours and hours and hours. And I've been playing that game since like forever. So yeah. Yeah, I guarantee that there are some games that I just have way too much time in. I'm almost glad that they not every game broadcasts how much, like how many hours you have. I would probably be very ashamed of how much time I've put into some games. Animal Crossing is again a game that I have never played. Which once again I have friends that tell me, oh you need to play it! I go through phases like that too, like there'll be a game that I like, all I want to play is that and then all of a sudden I don't want to play it again for a while. Uh, Red Dead is like that for me. The one thing that I remember seeing and hearing about um, the Animal Crossing is that it's like in real time. Or something like that, like, it actually follows, like, a real clock, and there's, like, apparently no way to fast forward it. And that, to me, is not interesting. I like being able to skip through multiple days. I think it would actually drive me batty if I couldn't skip through time and whatnot. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't- I just- uh, I, I feel like that would bug me too much because I'm used to games where I can, you know, if I want to skip to the next day, I can fall asleep and I don't have to wait for actual, like, IRL time. Okay, I, gu I guess I could see the merit in that. But, like... I don't know, with events in Stardew, like, if I want to go see you know, a festival or something, I can. I can skip it if I want to. Like, I don't have to just wait around. And especially, like, crops and stuff. I don't have to just sit around and actually wait for my crops to grow. I am a very impatient person. And if a game allows me to just pass right through something, I will. It's so hard on my playthrough of The Outer Worlds because there are certain scenes that you can, like, skip through, and I'm like, I'm almost tempted to just hit the skip button, and then I remember, wait a second, I'm actually broadcasting this for people. I'm like, can't skip the skippable scenes. I'm like, somebody else might want to see this. Stupid carbon ghosts. I don't like them. Go away. Oh, okay. And we got a mummy in there. I'm just gonna sneak down. Yeah, that... I'm actually having a lot of fun playing The Outer Worlds. Because when I first played it, I just got frustrated because I wasn't any good at it. And I kept, like, I kept dying, for one. And then it was just, like, I skipped through everything. I feel like most of the important missions I just kind of didn't bother with. I'm like, okay, so now that I'm playing through it again, I'm like, man, I missed a whole lot of things. So now I kind of get a chance to actually, like, see it all again. Also, I just remembered I was actually supposed to go to the, uh... I was supposed to go to Robin, and today is the day for the Traveling Merchant. I completely skipped both of those. Timing has never been my forte. Also, what's with all the serpents? And all the Iridium Slimes. Oh look, another serpent. Goodness. Oi! Really, another one? I thought this was supposed to be 
a good luck day. <laughs> oh, don't worry. My dogs... Ah! All the time. I, I'll be sitting there and, like, my husband sometimes naps when he comes home. Because he works really hard, so... If I have the dogs inside with me and he's laying down in the room, they'll just randomly start going off and I'm like, no! So then you're like trying to deal with them as like quiet as possible and they're making it like darn near impossible to deal with it quietly. You're just like, stop! Ow. Nintendo... Oh, crap. Okay, this is bad, this is bad. Yeah, I have three lazy puppers sitting inside with me. I need to let them out, but... Not until after I'm done with this stream. Okay, I need to throw something away. Um... Eh, we're fine. Where it's gonna go? And also, probably time to go home. There are a lot of things you can learn from games, and I find that a lot of games now have, like, sneaky, like, they they actually try to have good, like, morals behind them and whatnot, like, they try to teach people valuable lessons. Social media, I, I'm not actually really on social media much. I kind of just stick to myself and... You know, I do I do YouTube and, you know, I do Twitch, but there's I definitely think now there's a lot more access to a wider array of information which I find to be actually very interesting. I I actually I don't have a TikTok. I never have, and chances are I probably never will. So, yeah, I'm like, all my friends are, they share TikToks all the time, and I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't have one, and I probably never, <laughs> is it addicting, is that why? Yeah, that's kind of what I hear from a lot of people, is, you know, they say that it's, like, really, really addicting, and I'm just like, hmm. Like, the last thing I need to do is to be addicted to something else. Yes, I, I, th there's so many, there's so many, like, ways that people get desensitized to, like, swearing and stuff, and I try not to swear, I also missed Demetrius' birthday, um, like, I try not to swear on my Stardew streams, every now and then I do in the Outer Worlds, but in the Outer Worlds game dialogue, there's a lot of swearing anyway sometimes, so I try to keep it as clean as I can. <laughs> um, with Stardew, definitely I try to not swear at all. Oh! Fish food. Then be not too dark. Huh, yeah, no, um there's so much content now.
Yeah, definitely TikTok and like stuff like that is not where I want to be just because I know that yeah, like YouTube and Twitch have a lot of moderation and stuff like that. So there's not a lot you can get away with. I can craft an Iridium band now. Oh, and squid ink ravioli. Yeah, I definitely have never messed with OnlyFans. I, I hear jokes about it a lot, but I've never actually, like, even looked into it. Uh, water the cactus for Sam. Speaking of Sam, where'd he go? Put away the coffee. Yeah, pretty much I try to stay away from, like, any sort of social media or anything like that. Aw, Sam watered the cat. Ah, there he is. Uh, a gift for Sam. I'm never gonna land this trick. Ah, I hate that I can't kiss them when he's over there. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Um, you feed- well, you don't really feed the cat, you- you do water them. So, one of the things to get, like, the highest points you can at the end of year two, beginning of year three, is to have a very high relationship with your cat. Yeah, no, they won't die, but you, that's how you build your relationship with them, is you feed them, or, well, you water them, and you pet them. So, yeah, when you have your watering can, just go over to that little bowl, and you can, you can water them. No, come on. Ooh, I got espresso, and also I forgot to put this duck egg in there. Okay. I'll be here. Okay, you guys are let out. <gasps> we have a new baby chick! What was this? I think we had a B, so this is C. I think our first one was Carol. So we are going to have... Uh, Claire. There we go. <gasps> Yay, little chicken! Also, she looks like a brown chicken, but I'm like 99% sure that I put a white egg in there last time. Hmm, this is not the way that biology works. That is quite interesting. Okay, uh put that in there. That is weird, but okay. I mean, it is what it is. Let's see. All the trash. Okay, so we have a duckling and chick. And more row to process. I need to- I actually really need to get more preserved jars. More preserved jars would be very helpful. Ooh, red cabbage harvest. Also, my beehives have produced honey. I keep getting Discord messages for some odd reason. Dude, dude, Lucia, how did you get all the way down here? Also, I think I forgot to watch the TV. I feel like I did. Okay, nothing in there. <laughs> Ooh, we have stuff in the cave. I see you. It was a wild plum. Let's 
see. I should actually probably drop some of this stuff off. No, cherries are in spring. Oh, they're iridium quality. Nice. Where does the apricot go? Apricot's not in summer. I, I think it's a spring crop. I believe so, anyway. Okay, let's see. Sell, 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 sell. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep you. I don't think I've even saved any red cabbage. What do I have in the way of seeds? What is it? It's the 20th, so I have, what, eight days left? Mm, do I have any more summer seeds? I don't... I don't think so. Okay, well, I guess we'll need to go look for some of those. Make me more caviar. Get those. I really need to go see Robin today, but I also need to see Pierre. No nope, long chest. There we go. Mm, yes, store those and sell that. The dryer didn't auto stop. Is your dryer broken or something? Let's see. Okay, for the last upgrade, we need. That sucks. I remember when we first moved into our house, we actually had to buy a brand new washer and dryer. That was annoying. Let's see. 550 wood, 300 stone. I have actually been doing my own laundry since I was probably like six. My mom was a very big believer in making us do pretty much everything for ourselves. Once we got independent enough, she's like, okay. She's like, you're going to be doing this on your own. I'm like, say what? Is that a tree? It is. It's a tiny tree. Alrighty then. How peculiar. Yeah, I... My stepmom at my dad's house did my laundry for a little while, but I hated the way she folded my pants. Oh, well, that's nice. That's nice of you to help out. Um, construct farm buildings. No, not a big shed. Big barn. Actually, what are you selling first? Yeah, I hated the way that she um, folded my pants. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my own laundry. And then I had nobody to complain about. Besides myself, folding my pants the wrong way. I think I already have all that. Okay, so construct farm building. Build. Yes. Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. I remember back when I still lived with my parents, like, that was always, I'm like, five more minutes, five more minutes! Although then again, once I got older, they, like, kind of didn't care. And also, I got my PlayStation when I was 20. That was the Christmas right after my 20th birthday. 
So, yeah, I have not actually been gaming that long, but I kind of I kind of took it and ran with it. I'm actually enjoying myself this summer. Well, that's that's good. Uh, Demetrius, I forgot your birthday yesterday. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was always the problem when um there was my stepsister and I would play Wizard 101 together and they'd be like, just pause it. I'm like, it's online! <laughs> I'm like, I can't do nothing about it! Uh, Sandy needs an amethyst. Uh, I only have like one. <sighs> Fine. I'll accept the quest. I can't necessarily guarantee I'll do it. Caroline? Is it just me or does Abigail look a little pale? The, the woman never goes outside. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Are they staticky? That is one thing. Like, I hate static. And every time I'll see, like... I'll see things that on, like, Facebook and stuff. And they're just like, Oh, these kids think they need... You know, uh, dryer sheets. They can't have that much static. Yeah, I, I hate static. And for some odd reason, I feel like I produce more static than most. Because any time I, like, walk around my house... And I it's not like I, like... I don't drag my feet. Like, I actually pick my feet up and walk. I don't even wear socks in my own house. But every time I touch a light switch... Or touch, like, a metal appliance... I get the worst shocks, and it actually, like, straight up hurts my hand. It seems like a good day to go swimming. Mm -hmm, I guess. That's what you're into, Haley. Yeah, the, the feeling of static electricity just, like, coursing through your veins, you're just like, ah! Me, like I said, it just hurts. I get hurt so often because of static electricity. Or like when I get up in the morning to go kiss my husband goodbye when he's leaving for work, I go to kiss him and nine times out of ten he shocks my face and it hurts. Filler episodes, filler episodes of what? Yeah, a lot. So I don't know how much of either series you've watched, but like for Stardew, is it like, is it bogging down? <laughs> I actually, I'm not like huge into anime, but my stepsister did get me into a couple that I'm like obsessed with. Um, sort of on mine. Let's see. I've watched sort of on mine. <sighs> okay, now I actually have to open my phone and look at them. I have like a list. On my Discord channel, there's actually a channel called. Uh, what is it? What are they called? Anime and webtoons, because I also am in love with webtoons. So I think I posted a list at some point. Let's see. Come on, come on. There's not even that much in this chat room. Okay, actually, that was the list of all the webtoons I'm reading. It's a very long list, by the way. Um. Uh, 
okay, there are some that just completely drag on and it just bores the daylights out of me. Like, I'm like, I can't, I can't. Also, why does Crunchyroll require me to log in every single time? What is my password? I don't even know my password. I'm one of those people I have to write down my passwords because I will forget them. Do do do. My passwords I feel like are the same for everything. Come on. Okay. So Sword Art Online. Um. I'm trying to figure out which ones I've actually watched and which ones I just put on my list. Uh, Over the Moon for You, Toradora, oh my gosh, I fell in love with Toradora. I really wish there was more of it. Uh, Wolf Girl, Black Prince, Our Love Has Always Been 10 Centimeters Apart. That one was sad. I think I actually genuinely cried during that one. Uh, Food Wars, oh my gosh, I actually like was going insane waiting for the new episodes to come out so i watched all of that say i love you lovely complex totally loved that one uh my love story that one was really good emma a victorian romance was really cute there's so many that i've like wanted to get into so i put them on my list but then i don't end up watching them uh, the World is Still Beautiful, one of my absolute favorites. That's actually what got me into anime in the first place. Yeah, my list is, like, ridiculously long. Of all these different animes that I've... I'm like, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch it! And then I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> like, I don't have the time! I have heard of One Piece. I just haven't watched it. I think that's actually on my list. Yeah, there's... I feel like there's so many people who just, like, hate on anime. But honestly, like, some of them have really, really good storylines. With... With Sword Art Online, I never got into the, what is it called, Alice's, Alice, Aliceization or something like that. Never got into that one. Ooh, okay, okay. I, uh, I'm one of those people, like, I grew up with Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Like, it's my thing. Like, my dad and I, we would watch um, Star Wars on the weekends together. And I absolutely love it. But I could not bring myself to watch The Clone Wars, the animated series. The style was awful. The, the, um, the voice cast they had did not do a good job staying true to the, like, the character voice. Uh, my husband was actually watching a clip of it the other day, and I think it's a scene with General Grievous. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the guy talks way too fast, doesn't even try to sound like the original voice. I don't know, it, that would take me a lot of convincing to actually watch. Like, I, I watched of the new movies, I think the only one that I actually saw was The Force Awakens, and I actually did not finish the rest of the new ones. Okay, ducks, what are you doing? My ducks were in a- <laughs> the ducks were in a row, but they're not going in the right direction. Go back in- oh my gosh, okay, just- I'm just straight up watching them, like- oh my gosh! Get in the coop! <laughs> Try to open a lemonade stand. What? what in the world are they doing? Okay, if I go in here, are you guys gonna, like... Okay, so now apparently... 
Yeah, magically they're all in there. Okay, I'm gonna shut that before any of them decide to pop back out. Goodness. That was ridiculous. Okay, throw all that in there. <laughs> also, now that I know about the rainbow shell with the whole, like, coloring things with, um, the sewing machine, those are, like, insanely helpful now. Uh, I might as well replant this plot too. Boop, boop. But yeah, I I really Hardly okay. What exactly do you mean by that? Oh, wait, they want more trash for the trash machines. Oh, you hardly play it. I. <sighs> Autocorrect is always weird, don't worry about it. Whenever I first found out about it, it was from a friend who was doing a live stream of it, and I was watching her, and I was like, what game is that? And she was like, Stardew Valley. I was like, I've never even heard of it. I, like, way back when, I would play, um, like, Harvest Moon. I had one Harvest Moon game that I got from a friend. Okay, so it's gonna rain tomorrow. But yeah, I had one game that I would play and it was very like Stardew reminded me of that a lot and so I thought maybe it's worth a try maybe I'll find a new game that I absolutely love and yeah then I played it every day for like nine months straight <laughs> I want to say I found out about it in like September of last year and yeah, then I played, I actually have my first farm that is completed. Like I did a complete completionist playthrough. Yeah, I have a lot of time in some of my games, but uh, yeah, that one, I, I blew through it and I was like, I gotta finish it. I gotta finish everything. Also, Sam, that's for you. Do you think Sebastian- See! I told you! He brings it up! <laughs> Do you think Sebastian and Abigail will ever hook up? See? There's something between them. And I trust Sam because he was, you know, in a band with them. <laughs> now that I'm married, I'm trying to get everyone else married too. You know, you know, it's admirable. You're happy, you want to see your friends happy. I get it. No, I'm gonna watch the TV going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. The spirits are very- We have three very happy days in a row. A viewer from Pelican Town wrote to me recently. Let's see. Her name's Haley. She wrote, I tried your pink cake last time I was in Zuzu City, and I fell in love with it. Could you share the recipe on your next episode? Well, why not? It's a marvelous cake, and you'll never guess the secret ingredient. Melon. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sam ships them, and I'm like, I ship them too. If I could actually get them together, that would be fantastic. Okay, dear Anastasia, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. It's a bream. More mail? I need- Ah, oh, I just sold my truffle oil! Mayor Lewis, why do you want truffle oil? You told me not to ask, but I'm gonna ask. I feel like 
uh, you know what? You know what? Knowing what I know, I don't want that answer. I don't want that answer. That's going down a place I don't want to be. Um, mayor's needs. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Lewis, you just shady guy. Also, I, I still don't know how I want to divide the barns because I'm getting a new barn and I'm like, okay, do I want to have a barn fully of like cows and leave the pigs and the goats in one barn or do I want to have a barn full of pigs and then leave the goats and the cows in another barn? Like, how do I want to do this? I haven't exactly figured that out. Also, I only have one rabbit, and I feel like she's getting lonely. Also, so I just watched a series, and by just watch, I mean, like, literally, I finished it just, like, a couple, like, two weeks ago, and I immediately started watching it again. Because once again, the first time I watched it, I watched it too fast. Didn't appreciate it. I didn't savor it. And now I'm watching it again. I'm like, I feel a little crazy for actually watching six seasons of show. Not only once, but then re-watching it again. I'm like, is that, is that a crazy thing to do? Okay, so they're going to be asking for something soon. Yeah, I'll have to, whenever I go back to the main menu, I'll have to look and see how many hours I actually have in Stardew. Because I feel like it's a ludicrous amount. Because, let's see, 50, I just posted my 50th video on YouTube for this series, the Stardew Valley series. So that's at least 50, probably over 50 hours on this farm alone. And that's not even including my other farm. Which one? The, the one that I'm talking about, uh, it's called Grim. And it's, it came to me uh, from the recommendation of my father. And at first I was like, oh, like, yeah, it sounds kind of interesting. And now I'm obsessed. Yeah, I, I know that people have streamed and stuff from their Switch, but I have absolutely no idea how to make that happen, especially getting the audio and the video going at the same time. I haven't the foggiest idea actually how to make that work. And I feel bad because I'm like, I want to be able to help people, like, if they have questions on streaming and stuff, and I'm like... Oh yeah, so... Whenever I was trying to find the solution for my problem with my PlayStation, Elgato came up a lot. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to try to make that work. I'm like, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into that stuff. Uh, Snail for Vincent... I need to actually start giving Vincent those snails. Yeah, there's so many different, like, different programs, different, like, pieces of equipment. There's so much that goes into trying to stream. And then they were like, oh, you're going to need to buy a different microphone. And then, like, I was like, okay, like, what microphone do you suggest? They're like, try this $700 microphone. I'm like, what? I'm like, how much for a microphone, you say? Yeah, to me, that was a little overpriced. Just a little. I definitely would say, like, I've... I'm not solely focused on, like... I'm not trying to make this a, a big thing, but like, yeah, I'm definitely trying to produce more content. 
<laughs> to the moon. Yeah, I... I don't see this as ever be... Like, I'm not... I don't see myself ever becoming, like getting into the position where I can just do this like and quit my job and just be a streamer like I don't ever see myself being able to do that but having a hobby and just kind of being able to have fun and also like I tend to carry a lot of stress and so when I'm streaming it actually helps me relieve a lot of stress and I'm not necessarily talking about like my problems but I get to talk and have fun and kind of get my mind away from things that bug me. So it's kind of therapeutic in a way. But like kudos to anybody who actually wants to try to make this work and like become like content creators and stuff like that. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Today I'm just tr going to relax and think positively. You and me both, honey. Do you ever take a day off? Not really. But like, I also... So my original plan was kind of just to really do, like, Stardew. But then I'm like, you know, like... I could be doing other games and then people have brought it up to me like, Oh, like, would you ever play a different game? And I'm like, you know, I'd be willing to try. So that's kind of why I did The Outer Worlds. That and, you know... I could easily restart the Outer Worlds because I had already finished it once, but I hadn't done a second playthrough. So I'm like, yeah, that'll that'll work out really well. Um, I really wanted to do Fallout, but I'm not restarting that game. I already did it once. I finished the game once, and I have a current second playthrough, and I'm like, Lord knows I am not going to try to restart again, because that's a pain. So if I did that, I'd have to jump into a series that already exists, and I don't know if anybody actually would want to see that. So right now I'm sticking to the two games, but I feel like Stardew's kind of bogged down a little, so I might actually pull one of the Stardew days and try to either put, like, Fallout or... I have Minecraft, but I don't really play it very often, so I'm, like, trying to find a game that I could kind of, like, sneak in there. Uh... Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. I gave him a snail. And he thinks it's the best thing in the world. Hi there, miss. The stream anything? I will say, you have to find the game that you like. Because if you don't like what you're streaming, it's very hard to create commentary about it. Because, like, when I was doing... I did a tour of my Minecraft... Um, I made it this big old mansion in Minecraft and I was going through and like I like Minecraft but I don't love it girls lay down but I don't love it so when I was kind of like doing the tour I had a hard time actually coming up with things to say besides like house I made this house made it out of birch it's cool but like when I'm Especially when I'm doing the Outer Worlds. Like, I have a lot to say when I'm streaming the Outer Worlds. Did you wipe your boots off before you came in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. But you're always welcome in here. I really wish that her dialogue would have changed. Like, I'm a little upset that their dialogue is the same, even though I'm now their daughter-in-law. I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. I'm used to having more structure in my day. Uh, you could fish. Uh, 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 come help me on the farm. Come help your daughter. But yeah, make sure it's something you love. Because it just makes it easier to talk about. Also, I found that when I first started, I was so nervous to say anything. Especially when I could see that there was nobody watching. I would just get these lulls. Like... I, I didn't know what to say, there was nothing really for me to say, because I'm like, nobody's watching anyway, so why do I need to say anything? But, slowly you become a little bit more confident, and it's a little easier to talk when nobody's there. I mean, I 
yeah, you could, but it's it, once you really get into it, you'll kind of see like what works, what doesn't work, how like what you want your personal style to be. That is one thing I found since doing like more streams and stuff. I tend to talk out loud a lot. And like especially to my dogs. Like I'm always like talking to them and you know trying to trying to stay on track is hard for me, especially when nobody's watching because then I feel like I can just go off on tangents and then I'm sitting there like randomly talking about a subject that I'm like nobody probably has any interest in this. I'm just off on my little tangent over here. But I definitely think it, like, I have a lot of fun streaming, even though, like, I don't have a lot of viewers. I don't, like, I'm not really, like, making it as a streamer. I think the most people I ever have viewing at one time, I had two people viewing my stream of The Outer Worlds. But, like, nobody was commenting on it. And that gets discouraging. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there, there are some streams that, like, people have such a calming voice. And, like, honestly, like, 10 out of 10 love those people. And that's another thing, like, trying to create the right sort of... I guess you're, like, your style, your brand, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, actually, that... So those comments, they don't happen to me too often. They've happened a couple times. But... Yeah, like, every now and then I'll be streaming and I, like, you know, the little icon, I can see that nobody's watching. And then all of a sudden I'll get a comment, so I'll get excited and I'll look over and I'm like, it's a link. I'm like, it's just a stupid link. I'm like, really? But yeah, when, no when nobody's watching, it gets a little discouraging. You get kind of sad. But like I said, that's why I don't look at it is, like, I'm trying to make it. Because I, I don't... I'm not that type of person. I don't have the personality, the voice, the skills. Like, I'm never going to be that person that people are like, oh, I want to go watch Rose do, you know, The Outer Worlds, or, you know, oh, she's doing another stream of Stardew Valley. Like, nobody's ever going to be like that for me. And I just kind of had to, like, come to terms with that. I just, I don't have a magnetic personality, and I never have, and I probably never will. Yeah, and that's, like, that's why I like Stardew Valley, because it's a cute little game, and, you know, it's, it, it makes a lot of people happy in its simplicity, because it's just relaxing. It's, you know, you have a goal, you have, you know, and besides the mining and stuff, you're not really, like, there's no killing things, really, besides, you know, slimes and creatures of deaths. But that was my whole thing, is, like, I just wanted to do a nice, kind of calming series. According to my friends, or at least one of my friends, I have a nice voice, but when I hear myself, like, on my recordings, I don't see it. I don't like the sound of my voice, but I guess if people don't want to watch, they won't, so. Yeah, my whole goal is just to have fun, and also, like, any tips or tricks that I've learned in the game, since I've already completed it, like, I'll try to help out where I can. So if somebody has a specific question, like, oh, where do you get this? Where can you find this? You know, I'm like, hey, by the way, been there, done that, I could tell you. Because I've also done a lot of research and stuff, trying to finish it the first time. I lost track of how many times I had to use the wiki because I just straight up could not find something. Especially when you get into G Ginger Island. 
I had a rough go of that. Yeah, there's... There are some people that you just, you want to watch because their voice or like their mannerisms, just things draw you to them. Like the, the two YouTubers that I think of when I say like, when I think of, oh, I want to watch YouTube, like uh, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, they have unique voices. Mark definitely has a unique way of speaking and like when he, <laughs> he he's just a goof and you kind of just like love him. Yeah, Mark Mark's unique. He's he's a he's a different kind of guy. But also, no, I totally get what you're talking about people who are like overly peppy. It's like the people who it's like morning people if they had their own brand of personality that would be them i i don't like overly perky people they actually like trigger an anger response in me I'm like why are you so perky <laughs> like go away so like you definitely find people who you like the way they talk you like you know what they talk about honestly there are some youtube channels that i've watched where I love their content, like, I love what they're talking about. It's either a subject or, like, a thing that I'm, like, very passionate about, but sometimes their voice kills it. Streaming has definitely made me more confident. And I'm definitely, like, I don't want to say louder, but almost louder, because, like I said, when I first started, like, I had a hard time speaking up. It was like, I didn't know, like, oh, did I say the wrong thing? Like, oh, that, that didn't sound funny. And I'd, like, beat myself up because I'm like, oh, I did this wrong. Like, you know, I'd rewatch my videos and I'm, like, cringing, just, like, down to the pit of my stomach because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, that is so lame. Why did I do that? And then sometimes you can hear the dogs in the background fighting and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm like, I just, I just can't. And yeah, no, sudden, sudden bursts of energy. Yeah, that's, I feel like I'm kind of the opposite. Like, every now and then, I feel like I'm usually kind of energetic, but every now and then I just have these moments of, like, bleh. Like, I'll be streaming and I, like, hardly want to say anything. I don't really have anything to comment about. I'm just kind of, like, doing it just because it's, like, on the schedule. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I'm doing a stream and a lot of the time I apologize if I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of having a tough day. It's a low energy kind of day. But you really, and like I said, this is, this is episode 51. So 51 episodes, that's 51 hours that I have been streaming. <laughs> you scare people with your energy. You know, sometimes it's not a bad thing. Sometimes people need a little, a little shake up. But yeah, 50 episodes in, and I'm still finding my voice. I'm definitely better than I was. Like, beforehand, I was just too nervous to say anything. And now, like, now I can kind of get a hang on it. And it's like, okay, things, this is how it's going. So it's like, I'm getting better. But I'm still not anywhere near where I probably could be. That, and I don't have a camera. So it's like, okay, nobody's watching me do what I do. Like, Mark started off and he didn't have a camera. And, you know, he, like, worked his way up. And so I've had people ask me, like, oh, are you going to get a cam anytime soon? I'm like, you know, I actually don't know if I want a camera. I don't know if that's, like, if I want people seeing me. I don't know how I want to work that out. So there's there's a lot of things that it takes to figure out, like, what you want to do as a streamer. 
So for now, Tony, what are you doing? For now, I just kind of like stick to, stick to my games, stick to just basic commentary. In Stardew, I try not to swear in uh, the Outer Worlds. Yeah, most definitely I, I try not to, but sometimes I swear. So it's like, okay, different games kind of turn me into a different person. A VTuber, is that like vlogging? Yeah, I think that's vlogging. I have thought about it. I did have an, an idea back, way back when, to do like vlogs of like cooking or like crafts or there's a lot of things that I do. I just haven't really like decided a virtual model. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause I'm I'm definitely not a person who Oh, a little person. If I could figure that out, that might actually not be that bad. But yeah, I definitely I don't know. The idea of like having having something to do outside of video games. Yeah, like kind of like an avatar. Something like that. If I could figure out how to do that, I might actually do that. But until that point. Hmm. That might be worth looking into. But yeah, it's... <sighs> Streaming for me definitely started out as a hobby, and it still is a hobby, but I do get excited when I get more followers, and I only have 12. Yeah, straight up. 12 followers. And most of them don't watch my videos. As a business. These days, just about anything can be turned into a viable business. Like, straight up. There's so many different ways to market so many different products and services that, honestly, at this point, like, you know, way back when, maybe when I was a kid, it would be a lot harder to do stuff like that. Whoa, that's expensive. That's that's another thing. I do um like I make my own logos and stuff. So if you look at my like YouTube or I mean even my Twitch, my picture that I have up and my background, like I made those. And then plus on my YouTube channel, I have my uh, profile picture and my banner that I made myself. And I was working on one for my stepsister, too. So it's like, yeah, I also do stuff like that. So if maybe if anybody, like, wanted me to design a logo for them, I could do that. There, There's so many different things that you can do that are completely viable now. And I think finding your own niche and kind of finding what you want to do is definitely part of the recipe to make a successful and happy human being. No matter what you're doing, where you are, your identity as were, you know, I think that there's so many different ways to express yourself, to make a living. And honestly, just, I hope that everyone gets the chance to do something they love. And this is something I love. So... Well, anywho, this is this episode has been quite long. I'm kind of ranting a little bit, but thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for talking to me. Uh, like I said, feel free to join my Discord. It is linked on my Twitch. You can talk to me about anything you want there. I have that anime channel in case you want to talk about some anime you like or the webtoons. I have a lot of webtoons listed on there. But I hope you enjoy your weekend. If you get a weekend... <laughs> I don't know who works on the weekends, but I hope you have a great weekend, and I will be back on... My phone's ringing. That's hilarious. 
but I will be back on Monday with a live stream of Stardew Valley. Uh, my husband is actually going to be busy. <laughs> my, yeah, my husband actually has an event for work tomorrow. Sam, answer the, f okay, I I'm going to answer this just so it's not, or not. Anywho, um, he's actually busy tomorrow morning, so I might do an early live stream. Possibly of the Outer Worlds, or I have been wanting to show off some of my settlements from Fallout, so I might do that. But if you want, uh, you can click the notification thing so that you can get notified when I go live. But that'll probably be... Really, Andromeda? That'll probably be pretty early in the morning if you want to see that. But otherwise, I will be back for our regularly scheduled live streams. And that's it. I, <laughs> I I find myself repeating my outros a lot. Oh my gosh, it's the phone! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, my time is Mountain Standard Time. So I don't know how that works out with your time, but you can always rewatch it on um, Twitch because it won't be uploaded to YouTube till Monday. So, but until the next live stream, enjoy your free time and I will see you guys later. Bye.